What is going on guys? Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. God, I've missed saying that. It's been two or three months, but it feels like it's been two or three years. I've missed out on so much stuff. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 information, the iFly 737 Max information, but today's video, today's video is of course focused entirely on the hotly anticipated Flyby Wire A380X. After four years in development, we're finally getting a developer preview of this massive aircraft. I've got all the juicy details you need from what features you can expect to the performance requirements and even how you yourself can contribute to this aircraft's development. So sit back, relax, and after this quick sponsored segment, let's get right into everything fly-by-wire. Awesome is a free-to-download application software from macOS, Windows, and Android that allows you to remotely control your PC using your phone. As can be seen here, I can monitor my flight, control the cameras, and even move things around as needed without having to be anywhere near my monitor. App does allow keyboard customization as well as mouse support and can also support games up to 144 FPS. Once again, that's Awesome Remote, and you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description section of the video. Now, for those of you that don't know, the A380X was actually announced four years ago, and since then, it's evolved alongside updates to the A32NX. Flyby Wire has been open about their process and challenges in bringing the Super Jumbo to life in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today, we're getting an inside look at what the first developer preview or developer release version of this aircraft will offer. To all of us, by the way, this isn't just for some developers. Just to be clear, this is for everybody who has a simulator and is on PC. Unfortunately, not for you folks on Xbox. So what exactly can we expect from this release? Well, first things first, this release is going to be an open alpha developer preview, as I said. This means that the aircraft will be flyable, but it's not yet a fully polished product. Certain features and systems will still be under development. The good news, however, is that you'll be able to perform a full A to B flight, and yes, even take it up on VATSIM. I'm not making this up. The latest NOTAM published by Flyby Wire confirms this. So VATSIM flying with the A380, Emirates routes anyone? Let me know down in the comment section below. But remember once again, some systems will be inactive or partially functional. Think of it like the A32NX when it first launched. It was barely flyable, but not complete. Fly-by-wire is being very clear here. If you expect a bug-free experience, this release won't be for you just yet. It's designed primarily to open the aircraft up to contributors and give the community an early look of what this team has been up to for the last four years. Next up then, let's talk about performance because that's going to be a huge factor here for a lot of you folks. The A380X, as you can expect with these images and the videos that you guys are seeing in the background, is pushing the boundaries of what Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 can handle, especially in terms of system depth and graphical fidelity. Expect around a 25% flat performance hit compared to the A320neo by Fly-by-Wire across the board. This is once again mainly because the A380X is still in alpha and hasn't been fully optimized yet. Fly-by-Wire themselves mentioned that they're pushing the limits of Microsoft Flight Simulator's engine, so if you're used to smooth performance on the A32NX, brace yourself for a bit of a dip with the A380X. Now, for those of you that are wondering, here's a breakdown of the system requirements. So if you're planning to play it on minimum system requirements like 1080p 30fps low settings, here's what you're going to need. If you want to bump it up to recommended settings, which are around the 2k 30fps range, here are the specifications. And finally, if you want to go on the high end, if you want to play like say 2k 4k DLSS 60fps, then here is what you're going to need. You're going to need at least an RTX 4080 with 32 gigabytes of RAM, as well as tons of free disk space available on your SSD. SSD as well. Now, once again, I cannot stress this enough. It's mentioned multiple times in the NOTAM that's linked down in the description section of the video for you guys to read if you wish. This aircraft is still very much a work in progress. Fly-by-Wire has done an amazing job so far, but they're clear about one thing. This version is not bug-free. In fact, during its development, they anticipate bugs and in fact encourage us, the community, to report bugs. That's the entire beauty of having an open source project instead of a paid airliner that is made by a company or something like that. Despite these limitations, however, you will still be able to enjoy the key flight features with many core systems already implemented. So let's take a look at what those are. Number one is flight management and navigation systems. The A380X will feature a custom flight management system based on fly-by-wires updated FMS V2. 
all leg types are supported, which means precise and accurate drawing of all procedures and waypoint sequencing is available. This includes support for holding patterns and advanced MFD displays in the aircraft as well, for those of you that are wondering. Fly-by-Wire has also worked hard to bring accurate representations of the primary flight display, navigation display, engine and warning display or the EWD, as well as system display or the SD. This means the screens you'll see in the cockpit are precise and true to life, complete with memos for numerous systems. They've also implemented electronic checklists for both normal and some abnormal procedures, which is, once again, for an early access, open source, free product, a fantastic addition for those who want to operate the aircraft by the book. And of course, it goes without saying that the backend systems like the electrical, pneumatic, air conditioning, fire protection are all also fully modeled. Fly-by-Wire has implemented over 140 failures as well, which feels crazy to say considering many full-fledged paid products don't have this, giving you the chance to simulate various emergency scenarios. However, just like the rest of the aircraft, full system simulation won't be guaranteed in this alpha. It's very much something that is going to improve over time. One of the standout features of the A380X is the wing flex simulation, which I'm super excited to check out. You can see it in some of these shots here how the wing flexes, the ailerons will flex from time to time, the vertical stabilizers will flex and so on. The wings are actually modeled as soft bodies that react dynamically to fuel load and wing loading during takeoff. You'll even see the famous aileron dance with triple ailerons on each wing. Pretty cool. And finally, for the obscure A380X specific features, Fly-by-Wire has also gone ahead and implemented features like the Break to Vacate feature, which helps manage braking during landing to ensure you exit the runway at the correct spot. Additionally, there's also the Runway Overrun Warning or Protection System designed to minimize the risk of overshooting the runway itself. One of the key tools you'll be using is the Flypad OS V3 or the EFB, the iPad that sits in the A32NX if you're familiar with that, which has now been of course brought up to version 3 and made compatible with the A380. This includes a throttle calibration options with four different throttles, payload weight, and balance settings for both the main and upper decks, which is something obviously new in the A380, and a four-class seating configuration. Fly-by-Wire has also included support for default ground services and preliminary GSX support. Now, they're saying that the GSX support will be included on launch most probably, but if it's not, then it should be coming shortly after launch. Next up, let's talk about some developer and contributor involvement. At the end of the day, we're all supposed to be contributors to this process when the aircraft finally comes out. So if you're an actual developer or someone interested in tangibly contributing to the project, Fly-by-Wire has officially opened up the A380X to external developers via GitHub. Whether it's system enhancements, bug fixes, or new features, Fly-by-Wire is encouraging everyone to get involved as they're not just building a plane, they're building a community around this aircraft, just like they did with the a 3 to an X. Now another massive kudos needs to go to the Fly-by-Wire texturing and modeling team. Fly-by-Wire's modeling team has spent thousands of hours crafting this aircraft, both inside and out. Led by somebody called Repsol, the textures are based on real-world photos and built using advanced tools like Adobe Substance Painter. Now I'm gonna be honest, I use Adobe Creative Cloud for all of my work here on YouTube and I have never heard of Substance Painter, so it's way above my pay grade. Pretty cool. This attention to detail is what makes the A380X stand out visually in the sim, but they did mention one interesting point. If you're flying with clear skies in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, for some reason, the default skybox can sometimes wash out their textures. So that's something to keep in mind. You might be able to fly with sort of live weather or active sky or any other cloud preset except for clear skies. Now next up then, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Less than a month from now, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 will also be releasing. So with that on the horizon, you might be wondering how the A380X will fit into the new simulator. Now Fly-by-Wire has confirmed that while the A380X won't immediately launch with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, the 2020 version will be compatible. Asobo and Microsoft have both confirmed that all add-ons from the 2020 version will be natively backwards compatible for the 2020 24 version. That said, don't expect full functionality of this aircraft right away when it gets ported over to the 2024 version. Adapting the A380X to the new sim will take some time, as the team will need to optimize both the 3D model and systems to work within the new framework. 
Now, of course, there's no timeline for when this compatibility update will roll out. So patience is key among us. And I think we can do a little bit more patience, especially because they're releasing it out to the public. And if you really want to fly the A380, you always have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with an evolving and budding community of people looking to improve this aircraft over time. Also, another note here to mention is that Fly-by-Wire has no plans to bring the A380X to the official Microsoft Flight Simulator marketplace. It's part of their ethos to never have a paid product or never support Support that kind of stuff. So what this means for us is that unfortunately, it can never be available in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024's career mode. Unless of course, Asobo and Microsoft and everybody kind of come together and give special privileges to the A380 so that it can actually be flown in the career mode for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the conclusion of this video today. The A380X, in my personal opinion, is shaping up to be an incredible addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Probably one of my most successful videos every time I upload is always about the A380, goes to show how much the community really cares about this project. Fly-by-Wire has been open and honest about the current state of the aircraft, and while it's not yet fully polished, there's already so much to look forward to. Once again, for those eager to get involved, whether as a pilot or as a developer or just us as a community trying to give feedback about bugs and stuff, the door is wide open. I can't wait to see what the community does with this aircraft, and as always, I'll keep you updated with the latest news and developments. It's been really awesome getting back into YouTube, folks, and I can't wait to keep bringing you more updates as well. Thanks for watching, and thanks for flying by.